Hello, good morning and welcome to New Forest Morse. Jared joining me today. We've got our final egg cut clutch number five for today, which is Pringle and Apollo. And you can see Pringle is our FNF line uh, calico girl and Apollo is our super pastel orange dream banana boy. And uh, what we're hoping to produce here, Jared? Our well, uh, pastel banana orange dream calicos. That's what we'd like. Uh, we've only got two eggs. She gave us three decent eggs and one of them wasn't fertile, was it? And that one went yeah. bad. And if we, uh, before I open them up, I should just quickly show you the boy. So Apollo's in here, Jack. Have a quick look at him, see how he's looking. There we go, so he's obviously tucked away here. Let's have a wee look at him. Is he going into shed? I think he's going into shed, Jack. Yeah. So, what we'll do is we'll just give him a bit of extra water to help him shed out. There we go. And so you're not seeing him at his best there. And I think the calico girl, Jar, she is... How many mils have you given her so far now? How's she doing? Um, she's eating every week since she lay, which was the 26th of June. It's funny because we were actually cleaning the other day and she came out and she wanted some food and she usually bit you. She tried but twice to bite me. Did she try and bite you twice because she was just so wanted to eat? But even now she's poised to come out and hit you, isn't she? Yeah. But she's starting to put on weight and uh, doing quite well. So we'll leave her to recover in peace. There we go, Jad. So if we We've got a 50% chance of getting a calico. So with two eggs, one of them should be calico on the odds. We've got a guaranteed pastel. So everything should be at least pastel. We've got a 50% chance of hitting a banana. And if it's a banana, Jared, is that gonna be a male maker? Yeah, I think he's a, he's a male maker. He's a male maker. So if we get a banana, it would be a boy. Any non-bananas would be girls. That's the sex link gene. And what was the other one? Orange Dream is 50-50. So to get a Calico Banana Orange Dream Pastel, it's about one out of eight chance. So we should have really eight eggs to hit the banger. If we've got two, which means our chances are very low. And one of them is mouldy as well. Yeah. Well, one's a boob. The mould, you put the centre egg that had uh, just a yeah. circle in it and it, the mould came off the central egg and spread onto the others. So I know there's different theories out there as to what you, why you should separate. and. I guess really if you get an egg that you think isn't fertile it might go mouldy. Isolated is the name of the game, otherwise it can spread onto the other ones. So, um, yeah. But even though it did spread onto the other ones, because hopefully they're healthy, you can see that the, most of the eggs are white. So, yeah. what we'll do is, shall we try the big egg first? Yeah. Yeah. So Jazz wants me to open both of them up. He's quite happy for me to do both. We'll just have to see whether we are lucky enough to hit a visual. Well, there will be a visual, no codons. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, we'll, yeah, let's just have a little look and see. What I'll do is I'll end up cutting along that curvature, I think. Hope that the uh, snake has grown and developed okay. Just hoping that we've got a healthy animal here. It's moving, yeah. Jack. I can't quite see what we've got. Can you see what we've got in there? Um, it's a pastel guaranteed, isn't it? Yeah, I don't... Oh, that looks like calico. Yeah, look. I'm not sure. I think that's calico. Yeah. Look at the colours on that. Some oranges in there, Jared. I think we've got a calico there. Maybe. I thought a calico would be more white, but... But they get white, apparently with calicos they get whiter with age, yeah. but they're yeah. orange, when they're babies they're more orange, so yeah. we might have been lucky there, but it looks like a healthy baby, so we're not going to complain about that. This baby's going to be small. This is going to be a small baby because it's a boo egg, and hopefully it's healthy. The vein structure was healthy, and there wasn't a jag when we did the, yeah. when we did the uh, candling, but um, it's best whether or not we've got, feels like there's a baby in there. We got here uh, this looks interesting that looks like a calico or we're we just looking at its tummy it's a tummy that you just saw there it's quite a substantial baby in here i 
I don't know if it's made it. Now, I don't think it's made it. You don't think so? I think it's OD if it is something. Yeah. Here's a little baby. Is it moving at all? Yeah. It is. I think so. I think I saw some movement. I think it's just very small, Jared, and it's. I think we'll just leave it, shall we? But there's definitely a snake in there. Whether it's. It's difficult to tell. I see, I see it moving. It is moving. We might be fortunate enough to have a an OD in there. And that one looks really beautiful, that one. It's just lovely, Jared. Look how beautiful that is. Mm. Right, we shall sure see what happens. We'll monitor that over the next couple of days. How's the other clutch doing, Jared? Have you checked the other clutch to see if anything's come out yet? Nothing's come out yet, yeah. They haven't come out yet, so we'll do an update video on that one as soon as we get some movement on it. But, um, yeah, I think we've definitely got some one OD in there. It's just yeah, whether it looks that, to be on stream. Yeah. No bananas. No bananas, I mean, they're both going to be girls. Mm -hmm. But um, we just have to see what happens, really. But um, that's fine. And today we also uh, managed to sell um, a snake as well. So we had a nice family come in today to uh, choose a snake for their son's birthday, which was a lovely experience. And it's nice because when you've got, um, let's say, normal looking snakes, uh, even if they're 100% heifer clown pied or whatever. Um, it's nice to sell them to families who are trying to um, bring them on as pets. So this young seven-year-old boy was going to take it home as a pet. And I think it's a lovely way of actually teaching your children, maybe start off with a less expensive snake and then um, let them learn the art and craft of keeping them. So that was a lovely positive experience that we had today as well, isn't it, Jad? So it is coming up for the weekend. I hope everyone um, has a lovely weekend and we shall see you next week with the updates and uh, thank you very much for your love and support and we shall see you next time. Bye bye for now.